There we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what is up? ADS Play 101 here. It is October to, wow, October 25th, 2023. And um, back with another Mimic Q set. This is going to be like a short session. Um, I got a new set that I'm trying out with Mimic Q today. Uh, I don't know if it was yesterday or the day before, but you know, I, I went out, it was 2 4, that was my scoreboard before then. And I think I, ch I don't know if I changed it on stream, but this is my setup here. Now, my first time playing with Mimikyu, I noticed two things for an all rounder, he's he's more capable as an assassin i mean if they were going to build him like this i think it would have been better if he was like a speedster or something but the way they have him set up as an all-rounder is kind of like difficult because he doesn't have enough health to really survive um battles like that so i decided that i was going to make an emblem page that was going to focus more so on attack and have the held items focus on health and defense so this is the reason why I have what you see right here. Now I know Rocky Helmet and Assault Vest, for some reason those two items get a bad rep, but they're actually pretty good if you use them for what they're used for. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like everything isn't gonna do damage. Some things actually built for survivability and that's what I'm going for here. Um, and weakness policy, you know, that's just to give him, while he's taking hits, He's gaining damage. I don't think that's an item that needs to be off of Mimikyu, to be honest with you. I mean, he gains damage when he goes into his busted form, and by that time, he already be maxed out on weakness policy. That's a, so that's like an additional 12% of damage. Now, if he can, if he has the health and the defense to, you know, not only tank those hits, but to be able to. Um, use his busted form and get the bonus from weakness policy uh with no problem then yeah i'll you know i'll rock with that but i think i'm gonna keep this so this is the emblem page that i made this is my this is one of my variations of my all attack emblem page um i have several ones i took screenshots of some of y'all know i got like a folder with a bunch of screenshots in it all of them are emblem pages that i made from i want to say since season three four or like whenever they started the emblem uh thing i always took screenshots and i saved them i think they started the emblems in like season nine i don't know why i said three or four but yeah for every emblem page i do have a screenshot of it so i can go back and i can use it as a reference just in case i need to go uh do that but i think i'm gonna change this back to my chap my chop because I don't think I want a negative 10 SPD. I think I'd rather deal with the speed. With, with the speed reduction. And just keep those two at 5. So, I'm going to keep that there. Now, during this session, I will be like uh, changing around. Um, I'm, I'm, I might change around weakness policy. Because I want to see if I can do enough damage with what I have now. Or do I need to build damage over time with attack weight um, to see if that's better? Because this is more so health and defense focused, the way that I'm using him at this moment. He's more health and defense focused. With the emblem page being contributed to uh, the damage. So I want to see if that works out for itself. If I can get Mimikyu, you know, y'all know somebody might get him before me. Uh, I guess I'm gonna really get a test if I use him in lane. So I guess I'll go top. I got the all attack page. No, I do not. If I run this, that'll be 750 plus 500. That'll be a lot of health for him, but he's not gonna have any damage. 
So let me go with the arm attack like I planned on doing. Eventually, I'm going to make it to master. I'm not worried about master. Uh, master rank. Because I, I'm going to make it to master rank. This is just me um, figuring out how the character how the, how the new character works so i can so i'm, I'm not gonna be mad about about losses unless we unless the team do some stupid stuff but y'all know how that go i do think you need to tax speed as well so i might try try rapid scarf out Top lane with me. Why the hell is Gengar? <sighs> Bro. Like, why would you put Gengar in lane? I don't know, bro. I guess we'll make it work. I don't, I, I don't know. Like, at that point, you know, I, I'm just thinking about it. Like, at that point, you might as well just. sense came to the party elite see in moments like that if, if I was able to attack faster it would have benefited me but you know, I don't have um stuffs as long as I can get um, as long as I can get Shadow Claw I'll be fine I mean, the defense is working. I'm, if I was, maybe if I put focus band on him, it'll help a little bit more.
fuck is he getting more damn? He must have an uh, X attack on. I got him with that. Still got that. Surprisingly. I still want him to have 750 health. So if I can put the health at like 200 through the emblems, I might be able to get away with something. This is when uh, one
stupid. Just keep scoring at this point. Just keep scoring. Just keep scoring. Just keep scoring. Just keep scoring. Ain't, ain't, ain't like they can hear me. <laughs> wow, he looked funny as hell doing this run. His busted form when he's running looking like he somebody broke his neck. That's a dub. I like that, but I want to see what I'll be able to get away with if I add attack weight. <laughs> 